The Christmas story begins with a mission. God's mission. God had a message to give to the world, a mission to accomplish, to tell the world and to show the world just how much God loves us. And so it was that an angel started that mission with a visit to a young woman. Do not be afraid. God loves you and has a special job for you. Mary was that young woman. She was engaged to Joseph and she had a heart for God. The angel told her that God wanted her to have a special child, God's very own child. Now Mary knew it could be risky, but nevertheless, she said yes. Let it be done to me as you have said. Now Mary was engaged to a man named Joseph. Joseph needed a special message to help him understand what God had asked Mary to do. So the angel visited him in a dream and told him, just like the angel had told Mary, to not be afraid. So Joseph also said, yes. Yes, I will be Mary's husband and the special child's earthly father. Before that baby Jesus was born, Mary and Joseph traveled to Bethlehem in order to be a part of the Roman government's new census. Bethlehem was very crowded at that time. Nevertheless, there was still just enough room for Mary and Joseph. It wasn't in the guest room. It was in the place where they kept the animals. But it was there and then that the time came for Jesus to be born. Now, of course, when he was born, there needed to be an announcement, a birth announcement. But who would receive such an announcement? Who would listen? Well, those who had the biggest hope in God of all, the people who were poorest in the land. So the angels showed up and started announcing that Jesus the Savior was born in Bethlehem. And the angels sang praises to God. Don't be afraid. It's good news. Glory to God in the highest of heaven. Glory to God in the highest 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 heaven. Hallelujah. Now the shepherds they were staying in the fields at night, keeping watch over, the, over their sheep. They were the ones who received that message from the angels. And at first they were terrified when they saw the angels. But then when they heard the message, they said that they would go also into Bethlehem and see this special child that had been born. They went to see how God had fulfilled their hope. This is amazing. Thank you, God. We need to tell everyone. This is amazing. Thank you, God. We need to tell everyone. This is it's amazing. Thank, Thank you, God. We, we, ne we need, need to tell, tell everyone. everyone. But the shepherds weren't the only ones who knew that God had a new ruler for the world. Some foreign men, wise men, some people call them magi, they saw a sign in the heavens, a new star, and they made a long journey to Bethlehem to honor the new king of Israel. And they brought with them special gifts, gold and frankincense and myrrh. It was an amazing star. And it led us to meet the new king. And it led us to meet the new king. It led us to meet the new king. I know it led us to the new king. And so, through all these people and angels, God's mission of telling the world how much it was loved began. There was Mary and Joseph who both said yes to God. There were the wise men who believed and went looking. 
And there were the shepherds who went and told others. There were angels who gave God's messages and sang God's praises. The thing is, thing is, this mission of God's is still going on. And all that they did a long time ago still is done today. People still say yes to Jesus. People still believe and seek Jesus out. People still tell other folks about Jesus. And people still sing praises to God. Who will keep doing these things? Who will keep doing all of these things for God's mission? Will you? I will. I will. I will. I will. And so, the Christmas story really isn't all over. It continues through each one of you today. And so let me just say very clearly that God's mission to bring Jesus into the world, to fulfill so much work, was all so that God could say to you, I love you. God bless you.